Whether you want the sound of a notification bell, a pop-up, or even a crowd cheering, sound effects will always enhance your videos and make them so much more engaging for your audience. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way that you can add sound effects to your video by using Clipchamp. Start by logging into Clipchamp or sign up for free. Next, you'll be taken inside the editor. To get started, you'll import the video you want to add sound effects to. Do this by clicking on the import media button, selecting the asset, then hitting open. Your asset will load into your media library here. Now, just drag and drop your video into the timeline to get editing. For this tutorial, I've already done some video editing on this project. I've added in some text, some stickers, and another video. I'll play back the video. Say hello to the AI video editor in Clipchamp create engaging short videos for you just like this. And you'll notice it is pretty bland without any sound effects and it does need some enhancing. So to add sound effects, navigate over to the toolbar and click into the content library tab. Now select the drop down arrow of the audio tab, then click into sound effects. We've created a huge library of content collections which are all categorized into different types of sound effects. For example, I'll jump into the sci-fi collection or even the transition sound collection. Now, if you don't find what you're looking for inside a content collection, up here in the search bar, you can look for something more specific. Use keywords that best describe the sound you're searching for. For example, a dog barking sound, <laughs> a notification bell sound, a car alarm sound, or even a keyboard typing. In this case, I wanna go for a popping sound for when my text appears on the screen. So all I'll need to do is search for pop in the search bar. Then I'll go through all of the results and find the one I want to use. In order to ensure the sound effect is timed perfectly with the visual element, inside your timeline, drag the seeker to the point of the video the element appears. You'll then click the green plus button of the sound effect and it will be added to the timeline. Say hello to the AI. If it doesn't sound perfectly in place, you can reposition the sound effect by dragging it just like this. Say hello to the AI video. You can also drag and drop the sound effect into your timeline then move it into position, but using the seeker provides more accuracy, especially when you have a larger video that has a lot of visual elements. Once that sound effect is in place, you can make some further edits. Click on the sound effect in your timeline, then navigate up to the property panel. Here, you can adjust the volume of the effect by dragging the volume slider left or right, and you can also adjust the speed of the effect by again dragging the speed slider left or right. Then if you'd like to use that sound multiple times throughout your video, you can easily duplicate the sound effect in your timeline by right clicking and then hitting duplicate. You can also just hit command C, command V on your keyboard. Now you can go ahead and repeat this process by searching for all different types of sound effects just like this to match all of the visual elements in your video as well as the movements in your video. To like and subscribe to you can add as many different sound effects as you'd like, and you can also layer them if there's more than one you want to play at the same time. Get to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos. Just make sure to play your video back and check all the sound effects are in place. Finally, for a bit of an extra touch, you can add a background track. Navigate back up to the audio tab and then click into music. You can search through all of our royalty-free stock music and similar to the sound effects library, you'll easily search for a background track, add it into your timeline, then just adjust the volume and play your video back. Say hello to the AI video editor in Clipchamp. Really create engaging short videos for you just like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos. And now the sound effects, as well as that background track, have enhanced your video just that little bit more. And it's as simple as that. Once you're completely happy with your video and all of your edits are complete, you can go ahead and export it by heading up to the export button 
selecting your video quality. Then once that export is complete, it will automatically download straight to your device, all ready for you to share. And that's how you can add sound effects to your video using Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.